Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to take this screenshot. I'm going to walk you through the um, documentation and I'll show you what are the options we have. So the code snippet is very simple. We have to say like page.screenshot and we have to specify the path that, that will take the screenshot. Apart from that, also we have few other options like we can take the full page screenshot. That means if you see here, uh, when we take the screenshot, it will just take this particular DOM, right? So that is the visible portion. But if I scroll down, you can see that we have a lot of things over here as well, right? So just in case, if you want to take the full page screenshot, probably you can use this, like uh, I will show you the syntax in code, okay? And also we can take the element level screenshot. All these options are available in Selenium 4 as well. And in Selenium 3 also, we have the uh, element level screenshot as well as the visible level of the screenshot option. Okay, let's see how to do that in action. So I'm just going to flip to my VS code and I'm going to take the same code that is uh, our previous code, like um, learning about finding multiple elements. Okay, so if you see here, we have like two tests here, right? So after each and every test, I just want to take the screenshot. So for that, I can use something like after each here and then I can say await and I can say like page dot screenshot and then within that I have to pass the path right so we have to pass the path within the options so I'm just going to copy paste here so path and here I'm saying screenshot one dot uh, we'll just name it as screenshot one dot png okay and of course this after each should be also of async so that we can use the await but if i just use the same file name then of course it is going to duplicate i mean sorry not duplicate it is going to do the replace right so for that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the date here okay so i can say like date dot now and then i can do the concatenation so that means it is going to uh, keep the file name as screenshot1.png but before that it will just add the date okay now let's run this and check so i'm just going to say just and then followed by the file name that is search dot test dot ts as of now we are just seeing how to take the screenshot uh, later on we'll see like how to uh, attach the screenshot in the report and here we got something like uh, zero matches because the spelling is wrong here sorry for that so i have to give correct one so s e a r c h so this is the file name search.test.ts so we have to specify it correctly we are expecting two screenshots now let's see and it will store in the root level of my project okay so that is uh, here right so in this place we can see that or maybe within the test folder okay so here you can see that we got like uh, two test executions it was very fast but you can see the screenshot here so we got like um, screenshot one dot png with some date and another one is basically this one right so this is like after entering the um, username that is git username we are getting this load loader and then we are getting this once the search is completed we are able to get this one but if you see the screenshot here, it's only showing the uh, visible page, right? But I want to take the screenshot, full screenshot, like with all the repository. So let's see how to take that, okay? So here, uh, after typing, I just going to say await, and then I can say like page dot screenshot. And within the optional, first we have to specify the path. And let's name this like full screenshot dot PNG. And then, I have to say full page and then I have to say boolean that is true or false okay that's it this will take the full page screenshot let's see the output so I'm just going to run this okay so here you can see that we got fs.png and here you can see the beauty so we got the full page screenshot okay in sometimes it might be useful just in case if you want to check the full page um you can do the same in browser also so for example if you open your dev tools uh, that is the inspect uh, here right now here you can uh, type like control shift p 
and here you can type full screenshot this is like just doing it manually so here we'll save this in a desktop and if i open it you can see that you are able to get the full page screenshot okay so the same technique is also used in the playwright as well so this is like your dev tools we can take the full screenshot from the dev tools itself but of course we are doing that manually here it's based on the coding side okay and other than that we have a few other options but before that let me show you how to take the element level screenshot okay um, for example let's say that our web page that is let's go dot in and uh, this page right yeah so here i just want to take the screenshot of this particular header okay so let's go and inspect this one and this is basically within the uh, nav bar okay so here we have a something called nav bar now let's write the locator for this so i'm just going to use this uh, this one let x path and we can write it anywhere so i'll just quickly write here itself okay so first we'll say const uh, we'll just name it like header equal to and i'm going to say await page dot dollar and then followed by the css okay and then if the header is available that is question mark dot and then we are going to say screenshot and we have to specify the path again within the optional parameter so i'm going to say path equal to and then followed by let's name this like header dot png okay and let's run this very quickly okay now let's go to the header dot png and here you can see that we got only the header path okay and why it is blurred in the sense uh, basically there is a loader um so like whenever we do something it's the loader is there so that is the only reason just in case if you don't want of course you can wait until the vis invisibility of the loader but anyway that's fine we understood like how to take the element level screenshot full page screenshot as well as the visible portion of the screenshot now let's see few of the other options okay so if i go to this api reference i will just leave the link in the description probably you can check that now here if i go to this uh, page dot screenshot and here you can see that we have a lot, lot of options like we have clip clip in the sense like if you want to take the screenshot based on the x and y coordination kind of like cropping probably you can do that and full page we have discussed and then we have like something called omit background so you can just read the documentation it's very easy to understand and quality so like uh, 0 to 100 you can set it up and timeout and then type either it can be png or the jpeg okay mostly we can use the png uh, that is lesser in size and the quality is also good okay and same applies for the uh, not this one um, yeah if i go back and here we can see that we can also take this as a buffer so buffer is like your base 64 that means uh, it will be like kind of string that can be attached to any of the web pages any html files okay but that is purely for the html purpose like uh, for maybe like some kind of documentations we will see that in future if you want to use it we will use it the syntax is very simple we just store that as a buffer and then we can just uh, we can say like two string okay and we can store the string that's it very simple okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon